today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. By the middle of the 19th century in the U.S., the economies of shipping commodities such as animal feeds, seeds, sugar, and flour became more cost-effective to package and ship in sacks rather than in barrels, which was what had been previously used. By the late 19th century, flour sacks were often printed in various colors and designs and recycled for clothing and other purposes. Farm women recycled the sacks into clothing, and by 1925, at least one company, Gingham Girl, was packaging in dress quality fabrics and using their sacks as a selling point. By the 1930s, companies regarded the sacks as a crucial part of the marketing product. One feed store owner complained about purchase decisions moving from the farmer to the farm wife, saying, Years ago, they used to ask for all sorts of feeds. Now they come over and ask me if I have an egg mash and a floured percale. It ain't natural. During the Great Depression in the U.S., many families sewed clothing from discarded flour sacks. Often flour would be purchased according to the patterns printed on the bag. The sacks had so many uses and the clothing made from them was so common that flour sacks entered the local folklore. Kinder Brands found that as an element of material culture, the clothing and clothing practices of rural populations reflect the life and times of an era to the same extent as that of the general population. However, it is the activities of these farm wives clothing their families in feed sacks that offer a view of life that was unique to rural communities during this time period. Several people from rural Virginia spoke about their clothes made from sacks during the Depression. Back then, feed was sold in sacks. I believe they held almost 100 pounds of seeds. A number of farmers who didn't sow returned their sacks for resale. I actually made the bows and pants and dresses from sacks. Mama always sewed on a Singer Treadle sewing machine and made our dresses from flower sacks. She made sure Dad would get two sacks just like. That was what the pattern took to make dresses right. Mama made me pinafores out of flower sacks. Flower sacks were made of cotton with pretty prints. Dresses made for my sisters and me were sometimes made out of cotton feed bags. I guess my brothers were lucky. My mother made shirts out of feed sacks, which a lot of cow feed came in. An estimated 3.5 million women and children wore flower sack clothing during the Great Depression. It just became a way of life, as times were very hard. According to the Smithsonian, with feed sacks and flower bags, farm women took thriftiness to new heights of creativity, transforming the humble bags into dresses, underwear, towels, curtains, quilts, and other household necessities. During the early parts of the 20th century, Chinese workers made clothing from flower sacks, sometimes called hunger clothes. A photograph from 1948 shows school children wearing uniforms made of United Nations Relief Rehabilitation Administration flower sacks. In Europe, flower sacks were used in clothing, quilts, coats, and strainers. Feed sacks and flower sacks were also used to make rag dolls and doll quilts for children.